Welcome back to the Aces ROG Dream League live here from the DreamHack Monster Energy Studios in Stockholm. And we just watched our first game, which I think was about as long as our first series yesterday combined or something like that. It was a very long game. And in the end, Escape Gaming uh, victorious over Vega Squadron. So still 100%. That's me. Yeah, I got it right. Oh, right. You were oh, the yeah. only one who predicted. I know it was a long time ago, Jake. It was but... a bit. It feels like yesterday. But how did you know, Sheever? How did you know that they were going to win? It's, it's stats. 100% <laughs> win rate so far. Wow. She did not major in statistics. No. That's called the gambler's fallacy, dude. Well, I won. That's true. So you're a good gambler. Oh, I mean, yeah. Not today. All right. <laughs> okay. So this game, I mean, obviously, it could have gone either way because both mm. teams were doing really well. And at some point, escape was ahead. Vega was ahead, mm -hmm. Escape came ahead again, and then there was like this period of like 15 minutes where nothing happened. Yeah. Why did nothing happen, Ben? What, like, Everyone's at that scared point? to mess up. <laughs> Fear? That's all it's it is? It's just like, it was one of those situations where if you die, you just feel terrible and you probably lost the game. Because if you, if you die, then you have to buy it back and then you have to play another seven minutes like that. It's just, it's just how it goes sometimes. Yeah, uh, 15 and minutes is a long time. It's a long time. And then you split push. Because you can. Mm -hmm. You know what you also do? You come up with new ways to, to break the, the stigma, you know? And uh, Vega actually came up with a new way to do something. Please do tell. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you do know. Let's go into the drawing board. And oh, uh, you'll like, show me. Great. That will show you, yeah. Cause, oh, this, oh, yes. It, oh, right? So <laughs> there's... How many people okay. are up there? Pause, please. <laughs> there's, okay, I think there's three right now, but there yeah. will be four eventually. Um, and they, they only see Koikfa. Yeah. Now, if uh, you can't see, guys, I know this is a real sneaky thing. I mean, they can see these guys, but look at this. This is in the trees. This is as this is some Viet Cong shit right here. Yeah, this is. I, I mean, this is also pure panic. We're already 56 minutes into the game, uh -huh. and it, it's a stalemate, right? There's just nothing happening. So they need to find new ways to, to make things happen. Uh, and this time, well, let, let's uh, let's play it slowly. This time, it's uh, it's Vega that, that's trying something. They are gonna call, per, I think, one more person in. Mm -hmm. Are they going to be three or four? I forgot. I mean, that's the power of Connell, right? You can just one man in the trees, all men in the trees. Nobody's allowed to be out mm -hmm. of position. I and, love it. And everybody is so mobile at this point there as well. They can just jump out. There's a call. Now they want Qdoba. Yeah. Let's see. Looking delicious. He's going to walk go. in. Pause, and there we go. Pause, 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 pause. Okay, so Lincoln's broke. Holy everybody jumps Jesus. in. They go for the duel, right? Because that's what you do at this point. Of course. Yep, so is like, walking that way. He's like, nothing's, <laughs> nothing's the matter. Here's Quick for a shout. I think I heard a noise. What's going on back there? What's going on? Holy God. Because <laughs> it is not just Quick 5. We look at the minimap. Mm -hmm. uh, there are actually... Uh, th there's there's the Bane is around there as well. Yep. And the Sand King is is a little bit further that way as well. That way. That way. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> this could have gone way worse. Look at look how far Sin is away though. If Sin were like a little bit closer and didn't have to like travel like a full screen yeah. away, yeah. then he could have slept during the duel. But Yaps or yeah, he's facing rolling because that's not something that you expect every day. Yeah, yeah. And then he throws his boat. I which... mean, yeah. Look at Yaps or right here. This team fight, this entire thing just goes completely 180. There's Sand King too. He's gonna show up, and be like, oh, what's going on here? But look at this turret boat combo. Sand King setting it up a little bit, helping out. Great three-man stun, yeah. and then here comes the death. Coddle's the only one Three who knows. Strike. He's like, oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, no, no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at this point, you know, Mag is the only one that actually cannot move because of the duel, but the rest could potentially move away from the burrow strike. I mean, yeah, they had their uh, second, but when you go five men uh, in the trees, you and, don't um, think this is going to happen. He is um, now gripped, so it is the uh, Keeper of Light that's getting gripped there. And, and actually, I thought escape could turn this around because obviously this is not what Vega was expecting to, to run into when they just went for this one gank on the on Iceberg. Yep. You can play a little bit faster now <laughs> because this clip is fairly long. Uh, and yep. as we see, you know, the, the fight unfolds here and everybody is trying to weave in and weave back out, deciding uh, 
Who, who is ahead of the fight? Because that's what you try to do. Are we winning the fight? Is that <laughs> winning the fight? Should I try to run now? <laughs> you see Mag, he's like, should I go back? Should I go forward? And he decides to go back in, uh, which ends up, uh, I think, being uh, being the right thing to do as well. Yep. Yep, and, and you kill him, but it gets a low enough for Morphe yeah. to get picked off right yeah. here, too. So, And in the end, it is uh, Escape that lose, uh, I think. Four. Four, yeah. But I have to admit, though, I mean, this this fight here kind of sums up the game entirely. I mean, pretty evenly matched. Very evenly matched. If it matched. wasn't for both of these teams' abilities to kind of react quickly and get into those team fights, get great positioning off, it could have been a disaster. That's why this game took so long. It, it, it took really long, and I think that in terms of... Long games, at some point, it's experience coming to play. It's, yeah. you know, how, how much patience do you have to wait it out? And maybe Vega was the one that was a little bit less patient. Than they the they one definitely were. Game. Like, even that fight, you can tell that they just went too all in on the Invoker by, like, he didn't have a BKB, so you don't have to kill him during the duel. Mm -hmm. You can yeah. just drop a Static Storm on him in a Kinetic Field, and he can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Or not, not blink all at the same place. Yeah. They could have <laughs> well, they they, they yeah, exa blinked exactly. around him as they, the first they had strike. Heroes. They didn't have to all clump up for that. They didn't have to line up for a line for the three-man Burrow Strike. Mm -hmm. They didn't have to get hit by the three-man Torrent. Like, and Mag popped this BKB early because he's the most experienced one. He 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 has to be in melee range. He has to be there. And they coordinate the Lincoln's pop at least pretty well. They, like, yeah. use mana leak. But, yeah, the other two behind them, not experienced, get caught in the AUE and take way too much damage early on in the fight. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's escape definitely better, a little bit better teamwork, a little bit better chemistry. And I think, yeah, Absor, again, still just, uh, like, how many people died to the X Torrent Sunstrike in yeah. the early game? It, he just made mid lane terrible for he the Murana, mm -hmm. and Koikva was just you know, having a good game because of that. I mean, the guy's just a terror, and nobody he ever is. seems to kill him. I mean, he's always alive. He's always <laughs> doing You're stuff. not going to focus the Kunkka in a fight, which I understand. The band. Uh, maybe you should. But <laughs> you should maybe ban it. Because is this obviously, Absor is, is a really good support player. We've right. been saying that yesterday as well. But there's also the talk of Kunkka being maybe too strong. He, he is, but... Like, let's say that fight, the Disruptor could have, like, Static Stormed him instead of right-clicking the Invoker. Mm. Yeah. Right? There's, there's there's ways to actually control these guys. Or, uh, But his positioning is generally pretty good. But the supports on Vega have to match his support play. Be in yeah. good b positions, like, set up your cores for success. And that's just what the Absor does every single game. True that. He's a, he's a beast. He's a, a beast. <laughs> a terror on the battlefield, Shiver. Yeah. And how are you going to stop him in the next game? That's the question. I mean, ban out Kunkka would probably be a great. That's, great a, that's first a good step. start. Yeah, uh, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> just <laughs> overall, disrupt actually, Disruptor did decent. Disruptor did good. I was impressed by the Disruptor. I was yeah. super concerned with Escape's uh, entire plan because they kept getting that Morphling picked off. But yeah, in the end, if they bought enough time for Morph to get unstoppable in that end buyback, is what one of the Roches games. too. Yeah, they, they oh. gave away the Roches, which is like very devastating. They could have kept Morph like way more mm -hmm. like in the dumpster. Normally, you don't really plan for a game to go as long as this one did. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, so something obviously went wrong in terms of planning. I remember I'd like it probably was 15 minutes in. Uh, you said, "Well, Vega just has no plan." Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're just, you know, they're, they're, you thought with the draft, you know, there's something very specific. They have a plan. They didn't mm -hmm. end up having a, a really good plan for at least not for the early game. Is that something that, looking back at the at this game, do you still stand by that? They didn't have a plan for it early. I don't game. think they had a plan. No. <laughs> they 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 still did not match Kunka very well. They didn't no. ad address the issue. Yeah. And they they had really good ganks in the mid game, which kind of compensated for that. But mm -hmm. if the early game went smoother, I, I think they would have had it easier mm -hmm. in like 45 minutes. Yeah, it, it certainly seemed like one of those games where they're just like, "Yo, guys, just pick what you're good at, okay? We'll <laughs> what, figure what it out." What do you want to play? What do you want to play? <laughs> <laughs> Play Disruptor, guys. I play Legion <laughs> once in a while. Okay. Why did you want to play Centaur? Yeah. No, Shaver. <laughs> you said yes, but Hold me. First answer counts. Damn you, First Shaver. answer counts. I win. Thank you. <laughs> Got All him. right. Got him. <laughs> so I'm very happy with that. So, mm. so next game, obviously, we're looking for for something 